Why does Google Docs feel instant while your application doesn't? You type, it appears immediately. No loading spinners, no waiting, but your app every click feels slow. Here is a secret Google uses that you can use too. Most applications work like this. User clicks a button, app shows loading spinner, wait for server response, then update the UI. This makes your application feel slow. User want instant feedback. When they click like on the post, they want to see the heart turn red right away, not after waiting. When they add item to their cart, they want to see it appear immediately. The delay makes your application feel unresponsive. You set the loading status first and then fetch the data. Once you get the data, you update the UI. And the problem is that the fetch normally takes a second or two, and that creates a delay. This isn't a new problem. Distributed systems solved this years ago. Think about databases. They use something called optimistic concurrency control. Instead of waiting for confirmation, they assume the operation will work. They update it immediately. If there is a problem, they roll back. This is exactly what Google Doc does. When you type, it updates the UI right away in your local. Then it sends the change to the server in the background. If the server says no, it rolls back. This pattern is called eventual consistency. The system will be consistent eventually, but it doesn't wait. Here is how you do it in your front end. Don't wait for the server. Update the UI right away. If the server call fails, roll back the change. Let me show you how to do the code. We have similar structure, but instead of setting the loading status, we set the posts, which will update the UI immediately before we send the fetch request. And uh, if there is something went wrong for the fetch, we will simply roll back to the previous state. And this works for any user actions, likes, follows, card addition, form submission, and so on and so forth. The key inside here is don't wait for the server. Update your UI right away, then handle failures if they happen. So the pattern here is that you update the UI first, and then you make the expensive call, like API call, or some calculation. And the third step is when anything went wrong, you roll back the UI to the previous state. And if you want to see the full implementation details, check the description below.